Are you ready for some more dynamic arrays and filter logic? I hope so because this one is killer. First of all, a lot of people have asked me how I do my video editing in Camtasia. Well, I have made a course to show you how and I'm going to leave you a discount code to get the course for $55. I set it up for 25 people to get the course for $55 instead of $97. Alright, and you'll see what I do, how I do. Alright, so this is building on the dynamic array filter videos that I've done already. This time we are going to go through three criteria, three filters. These things are real mind twisters and I'm going to show you how I've been figuring these things out. All right, let's look at this data. Here again is how I build nonsensical models just so that I can get something working. All right, we've got color, size, uh, the medium, I got gel and powder and then availability. We are going to filter for medium equals yes, less than gel. Let's do it. Equals filter open parentheses. This is the array. Comma. Now our criteria. The first one we want medium. So that's this column equals medium. Close parentheses equals open parentheses. Now we want yes equals yes. Close parentheses less than open parentheses. This range equals gel close parentheses comma if there is none what we wanted to say let's say sorry and close parentheses boom now the question is how do we wind up with this we've got orange medium discontinued gel why is that on the list but we don't have light green medium gel yes one thing we need to know, does Excel treat these things in different kind of ways? Like we know in regular algebra, you multiply before you add or subtract. You divide before you add or subtract. Is there any type of order of operation going on here? So let's go into the formula evaluator and check that out. So there is my formula. Let's go to formulas, evaluate. I'm going to go to evaluate. So it's done our first criteria, the medium criteria. Evaluate. Now it's done the yes criteria. We see that the less than symbol is still there and the equal is gone. It has already evaluated the piece that is medium equals yes. That's done. Let's go to evaluate. Now it has the medium criteria. So let's evaluate again. Now you see the less than symbol in the middle. Now is getting ready to do the whole thing. Evaluate. Evaluate. So we wind up with blue large gel. Yes, which is the second entry in our data set. We'll close this. So here is one way to think about how we wind up with these six from the entire data set. And it helps us to know that it handled the equal first before it dealt with the less than. I'm going to go into the medium equals yes column and I'm going to put a one for every entry that fits that criteria. And remember, what does that equal sign mean? Equals is both or neither. So we want both medium and yes are neither medium nor yes. Orange, large, gel, no. Large no is neither, so that's a one. Large yes, there's a yes there, but not a medium, so that gets a zero. Let's look at all medium yeses. Here's a medium yes, one. 
this small yes that gets a zero because it meets one criteria medium no that meets the medium so that's zero now what does the less than sign mean in this case we want everything that's jail that is not a medium equals yes but let's deal with the equals jail. So everything that's a jail needs to get a one. Then we've got zeros here. So everything that we want as a final result should be a zero less than one. Those are the only ones we want. We don't want a one one, a one zero, are a zero zero. We want zero one. Do these match up? Blue large jail yes. Purple small jail yes. Yes! These are the six that fit this wild filtering function with three criteria. And that's how we think it through. Let me show you one other thing before we get out of here. I'm not going to step through this one. I'm going to let you play with it if you want to. But this is what we've got. Powder minus medium times not equal to discontinued. Using the formula evaluator, the function does do the multiplication before it does the subtraction. There you go. More fun filtering in dynamic arrays. More logic. Play with it. Get to know it. See you in the next video.